Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I am Ambassador Frederick Shava of Zimbabwe, one of the vice presidents of ECOSOC. I'm standing in for Ambassador Sven Jugeson of Estonia, uh, who has another engagement uh, this afternoon. I want to welcome you all to this session. I call to order the 20th meeting of the Economic and Social Council at its 2016th session. Uh, this afternoon, the Council will hold a panel discussion on the topic towards a paradigm shift in development. In this regard, I'm delighted to welcome our panelists, His Excellency Ruben Ignacio Zamora Riva, the permanent representative of El Salvador to the United Nations. Mr. David Nabarro, special advisor on the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Mr. Uwe Deutschmann, chief economist and co-director of the World Development Report 2016 of the World Bank. Ms. Min Tu Pam, Executive Director for the Policy of the United Nations Foundation, and Ms. Mary Ellen Iskenderian, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Women's World Banking, United States. It is also my pleasure to welcome the moderator of this uh, panel discussion, Mr. Michael Shank, Head of the Communications for the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network and Adjunct Assistant Professor at the New York University School of Professional Studies Center for Global Affairs. Before handing the meeting over to the moderator, may I kindly remind our panelists of the time limit of eight minutes for their presentations. Without uh, much ado, I now turn the meeting over to our moderator to conduct the panel discussion on the topic towards a paradigm shift in development. Mr. Shank, you have the floor. Thanks, Mr. President. So we've got until 4.30 to completely shift paradigms here. So I'm gonna push the panelists to think big in their paradigm shifting recommendations and also to quote Mr. David Navarro that seven minutes of talking is roughly 700 words. Is that correct? Okay, so panelists, please, please subscribe to the following. Before we get into a paradigm shifting conversation with the five panelists that have been introduced to you this morning, I just wanna offer up some paradigm shifting that's happening and that was mentioned this morning in ways that hopefully you will engage as well. In communications, our Costa Rican colleague mentioned this morning that we need to think about conversational colloquial style in engaging the public, civil society in ways, languages, idioms that they're using. Are we doing that? How will we do that with the 2030 agenda? Are we also pivoting off the news cycle? I press my leadership council globally to think about this all the time. Today happens to be the fifth anniversary of Osama bin Laden's raid and death. If you read in the newspaper, Detroit schools have shut down this week because there was a teacher sick out. So they've shut down Detroit schools, most of them because of protests around education or anyone who's following the Flint water crisis, you know very well some of the water dynamics in the US. How are we making any of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, relevant to the news cycle. The onus is on us to do so. Lastly, around communications, I wanna identify something we're doing at SDSN, working in New York City, Baltimore, and San Jose, trying to make the SDGs relevant to those cities, lining up their city goals with the SDGs. We've taken the UN SDG icons, stuck San Jose on them, stuck pictures of San Jose, language around Baltimore, pictures of Baltimore, so that this isn't top down, it's very ground up, 
anyone in Baltimore looking at the Baltimore goals see pictures of Baltimore, language around Baltimore, but it tracks identically with the SDGs. How are we making all of this relevant to civil society using language? They're using icons, they're using images, they're using. Secondly, around connections and coordination with the SDGs going forward. Little anecdote, in September, I was working for an organization called Climate Nexus. We do pro bono communications for anyone focusing on climate change, clean energy, sustainable development. And a few of the climate advocates who had descended in September here to talk climate felt that only a handful of the SDGs were related to climate change. Again, quoting this morning's conversation, our Costa Rican colleague, Everything is related to climate change. You can tick through all of the 17 SDGs. They have a clear climate component. And unless we're drawing the connections and coordinating between UNFCCC and the 2030 agenda, we're missing a ton of gaps around cost efficiency, organizing efficiency, every kind of efficiency you can imagine. So how are we connecting the dots across all of the SDGs? Lastly, around crowdsourcing, paradigm shifting, mentioned this morning, I propose out of Costa Rica, but also the EE citizenship, EE residency rather, coming out of Estonia. How are we completely shifting paradigms around how we engage constituencies, civil society, getting them to offer solutions around the SDGs? So the, the plan for the panel today, the guiding questions of this session, are all about breaking silos. In the event of breaking silos, it is shattering. Are we comfortable with the true shattering of silos? We talk, we give a lot of lip service to breaking silos. But if we're going to truly shift the paradigm, which is the title of this panel, are we really willing to shift paradigms majorly around integrated decision making? This is one of the guiding questions. Innovative approaches, what are they? Technological change, what is it? And what are the effects of all of this on business and policymaking communities? I'm going to turn to the panel and in the following order, hopefully get some paradigm shifting recommendations in seven minutes, 700 words. Ambassador, Excellency from El Salvador, the floor is yours, please. 